NBA introduced an innovative and cutting edge basketball that they're developing. But there's a lot of questions around this basketball. Like, is this as good as a regular basketball? Will the holes mess up the shot entirely? And is this really what the NBA will use as their official game ball in the future? In 2021, the NBA transitioned from using Spalding basketballs in favor of Wilson basketballs. Additionally, Wilson has started working on this project to create an innovative airless basketball. The company had been developing this ball for five years. However, it currently exists only as a prototype with the potential to be launched in the near future. Wilson plans to release the airless basketball within the next 12 months, but they intend to conduct a limited run first. This approach will allow more people to test the ball and provide feedback on its strengths and weaknesses. The general public could be holding this airless basketball in about a year, and Wilson is getting closer to achieving this goal. During the 2023 Slam Dunk Contest, Kenyon Martin Jr. used an airless basketball for one of his oh, dunks. This marked the first time a global audience witnessed this brand new basketball in action. Shortly after that dunk contest, Wilson shared a few videos about the ball explaining how they're made and it's actually fascinating. The method shown to manufacture these basketballs involves 3D printing technology. Wilson revealed that they experimented with various 3D printing techniques, but the only one that succeeded in replicating the feel of a genuine basketball while also ensuring its bounce and durability was a process known as SLS, or Selective Laser Sintering. SLS is far from the standard at-home 3D printer, which means that these printers are quite costly and unfortunately can't be substituted with an ordinary 3D printer at home. The way these specific laser printers operate is also quite strange. Essentially, the process involves a powder bed and a laser that etches the design to form the ball. Once the ball is extracted from the powdered bed and all the remaining powder is shaken out, a solid 3D printed ball remains. Afterwards, the powder is sealed using a special technique and the basketballs are dyed black. Following this process, they send their basketball to the NBA's testing facility in Ohio, where the basketballs are put through rigorous testing. Once it's complete, the result is a 3D printed basketball that never needs to be inflated and bouncing just like a traditional basketball while maintaining the exact size and weight. The basketball's uniqueness is undeniable, but with holes in its structure and no air pump inside, there are a few issues and concerns that need to be answered. Problem 1. Does the ball still fly through the air like a normal basketball even with all these holes? With this new kind of basketball, there is considerably more airflow passing through the ball, which raises questions about any potential impact on a shot when the ball is spinning in the air. Even though there's no concrete data or evidence to support this yet, many people have compared this ball to a wiffle ball, which is known to curve dramatically compared to a standard baseball. However, it's important to note that this basketball isn't very lightweight. This ball is actually designed to weigh the same as a regular basketball, and it is believed that this will actually result in better performance outdoors, especially in windy conditions, compared to an ordinary basketball. Everyone knows how impossible it can be to play basketball outside on a windy day, but since this ball allows the air to flow through it, it could be less affected by light winds during play. If this proves to be true, this ball could become the ideal outdoor basketball, but that also might mean players will have to adjust how they shoot the ball. Problem 2. Does this new ball bounce the same way as a traditional basketball? Wilson stated that they conducted tests at various angles to ensure consistent bouncing, regardless of whether it lands on the holes or grooves. However, it remains to be seen whether these new basketballs will lose their bounce over time. An interesting point to know is that the bouncing sound of this basketball is quite strange. For many people, the sound of a traditional basketball is deeply satisfying, and adapting to the unusual sound of this new ball may take some getting used to. Problem 3. Will the holes and material of the ball affect the overall grip compared to a normal basketball? Since this new basketball is not made with leather, and has a lot of holes, the ball will definitely feel a lot different in the hand. 
Would fingers get jammed in the ball during play? Would players have to adapt how they dribble and handle the ball in a brand new way? None of this can be fully tested until more people actually get their hands on the ball, and many people are eager to find out when this basketball will be released. This leads us to the last question. Could this be used in NBA games? Right now, Wilson is saying that the airless basketball is just a prototype, and they don't have plans to bring it to the NBA just yet. Eventually, we will love to see the airless prototype ball be used competitively. However, we have no current plans to change the NBA game ball, so for now, we'll have the same ball, but there might be a world where that could change. The first ever basketball used was so different from the modern basketballs we have today. Currently, the latest basketballs are made from synthetic materials and are designed to be more durable and provide better grip and bounce than the original basketball. So an airless NBA basketball could be a possibility in the future. And surprisingly, Dr. Nadalyn Lipa, who is managing the research and development of this basketball, says that the same technology could be used for balls in other sports like soccer or tennis. I think, for example, tennis might work, and it makes a lot of sense to make a soccer ball out of this same technology. What do you think about the airless basketball prototype? Would you like to try playing with this ball? Leave a comment below. For more interesting videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.